students uh, good morning uh, today we are going to see how to create a just enough administration endpoint or JEA endpoint okay so what is this uh, just enough configuration so in PowerShell 5.1 uh, in Windows 2016 Microsoft has brought a rolled based uh, security control okay so uh, administration can be done in a more granular and uh, customized way okay uh, so let's say you have a level one where uh, uh, you want uh, the level one team where you want them to execute just five commands okay uh, such as restart of computers restart of services uh, get event log all those things but uh, they should not be able to change any configuration or anything then you can restrict those kind of things using this uh, a JEA config endpoint configuration okay so uh, you can see our first video how JEA works uh, in this video we are going to create actually the uh, JEA endpoint how do you create a customized uh, endpoint so, so uh, with set of uh, with set of commands which the user can execute okay so first I will uh, execute the get ps session configuration command okay and we will see what all uh, configurations that are there you can see uh, it will show you the list of configurations server name manage workflow okay and uh, remote x uh, powershell workflow and some of my custom uh, configurations okay so to create an endpoint we have to use the command new ps configuration okay new ps session configuration file hyphen path then within quotes environment program data slash JEA configuration so I don't know where exactly my JEA configuration is so I use the environment variable program data but if you know the actual path you can give the actual path so for me it's in C uh, I think uh, program files I think no, it was in C program data JEA configuration this is where my files are okay so <coughs> since I don't know where, where the uh, the exact path will be on the server we give us a dollar sign and within this uh, open and close brackets environment colon program data so this will find you where the program data environment using the environment data okay slash JEA configuration slash my uh, JEA endpoint name here my JEA endpoint name is test demo and you should always save this file as PSSC okay hyphen full okay so this will create a new endpoint file for me JEA endpoint file for me so I haven't done any configuration in this file yet so let's open this file using a PS edit command okay uh, in the so ps edit again i give the path of the file name okay and hit enter so now my file is getting open so this is the file okay so you can see the data in the file first it will show the version number what is the GUID for this uh, psc uh, endpoint who is the author description company name copyrights information okay session type so this is where you will start doing the changes in this so in session type uh, I want it to be restricted remote server okay so it can run drastically even on the remote servers the session can run drastically even on the remote servers okay next the directory where my where the scripts sessions configuration scripts are so this one you have to enable 
okay and give the path uh, the path is uh, c program data jea configuration transcripts this is where the path is this is where your uh, jea configuration will be stored okay so i copy that go here and replace it you can see that i remove the uh, you know the comment uh, command before uh, editing so that it will become activity active you can see the color also changing okay uh, again run virtual account yes we need to run it as a, a virtual account so i'll make it true then i will scroll down uh, we don't have to fill any of these fields so just uh, scroll down okay and here comes the uh, user roles so here we will define what role and uh, uh, which group the user has access okay which users have access to can use this so for that uh, i have copied a code here i'm just going to copy that code so this is the code you will put I'll explain this code. So basically, we are saying the role definition, okay, equal to at start, okay. So this is the user content. So Ben Smith, we want to who has access to this uh, test demo dot psc uh, file, okay, equal to role capabilities, okay, maintenance. So this role has some set of uh, maintenance uh, already defined so i'm just referring another file okay called maintenance so i will just open this maintenance also you can see what all given in the maintenance so in you can see that in the maintenance uh, dot psrc file you can restart the service you can see who are my command and that's all and he has some general uh, uh, general uh, info which he can pull okay so these are the things that he has so i'm going to test demo okay so we are referring to that maintenance uh, rule capabilities and assigning to this user okay so uh, those capabilities have a limited number of uh, uh, you know commands that user can execute so just scroll down a bit okay and you can see a session here commandlets to make visible when applied to this session okay here we can add the our commandlets so i will add visible commandlets equal to i want my uh, team to even restart the service so i will give restart Even server, sorry, computer. And put it in single quotes so that uh, it's visible. Okay. So now this profile, apart from whatever is in maintenance, he can even restart the computer. Okay. So I'll just save this file. And now I'll go and import this file. so the first thing you have to do is register the test demo dot psc that we created okay so the command is register hyphen ps session configuration hyphen name okay what name you want to give to this i am going to give it as uh, test demo this demo and where is the path of the file so that's what i'm giving here okay so once you provide this details you you register the this uh, ps configuration session you can see that now it's registered okay this is the name of the uh, jea endpoint 
that you created okay so now uh, let's connect as bill uh, ben smith okay i'm going to connect as ben smith okay and i'm going to give his password so now i'm connected as ben smith now i'm going to uh, run this uh, invoke this command and see what all commands that ben smith can run with this test demo uh, je configuration okay so i'll just hit enter and you can see this uh, commands that you can run so by default clear host exit ps session get command get format data get help get user info measure object out default session object okay restart service are provided restart computer i have added newly in this file okay this test demo file i have made a visible command so you can see that restart computer is also available by default restart computer wasn't available i have added using the visible command let in this test demo.pse file okay so let's just test one command uh, restart no first i will connect as uh, ben smith uh, ps session uh, to do that you need to run the enter ps session okay enter ps session hyphen computer name i just want to compute connect to this computer so i have given a dot if you want to connect to a remote computer then you have to give the computer name okay hyphen configuration name so i want to connect to test demo uh, endpoint or je configuration hyphen credential so i i have stored the ben uh, smith uh, credentials in this variable so i have given that and hit enter so now i am in ben smith uh, power session i have connected as ben smith power session uh, now i am running get command hyphen command type all i want to see all the commands that is available so you can see all the commands that is available okay so uh, let's try this restart iphone computer space what if so you can see this user has a command to execute this command uh, let me do this get hyphen service you can see that this user doesn't have rights now to run this get service command let so if you want to uh, give uh, this user as get service command let okay uh, all that we will do is go here to test demo dot psc okay invisible command lets okay i'm going to give a uh, let me change this get hyphen service let's get service so i'll save this file so now since i have saved this file i have to unregister this uh, and re-register again okay so i need to exit the ps session for that exit the ps session okay uh, there's a typo Okay, now I have to unregister it. Register. Uh, 